Hi, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to prevent clients from accessing your router. So go to IP, firewall, and we're going to create two address lists. We're going to create one for support. And support is the user or users who will be allowed to access your router configuration. And for my router, um, so I'm logged in as my current IP address is 192.168.88.254. So I'm going to enter that. All right. One word of caution. This IP address must be correct. If not, you won't be able to access your router after going through this tutorial. So this address has to be correct. And uh, I would suggest that you make this address static on your device so you can access it. But without, if you're not connecting from this address, you won't be able to access your router. However, if you have, say for instance, you have multiple addresses that you want to use, you could create a range. So say for instance, you have 150 to, to 254. So this, is a, this could be a range of users. So you could actually create a range in the address list. Or you could create multiple address lists. So like this one, I could copy this and I could change this to 251 or I said 254. And I could have two address lists for the support group. But for this tutorial, I'll be only using one, which is the 254. So remember, ensure that this IP address is correct and also you know it. All right. So I'm going to create a, a address list now for the routers. So my router is 192.168.88.1. Okay. So you can have a list of routers or just one router. Now we're going to go, go to the firewall rule and we're going to create a rule now to prevent users from accessing the router. So we're going to change the chain to input and then change the protocol to TCP and the destination ports have a list of ports that, um, that you'll be able to access your router to make configuration changes. So we have um, ports for FTP, SSH, Telnet, Web Config, and the last one is for Winbox. Head over to Advance, and the source address would be the support. I'm going to check this box to say not. So, we're, so this address is going to say not from support. And the destination list would be the router. So let me explain this rule. So the input chain is where it's at the point of entering the router. So this will be at the port level. So as soon as a connection is initiated with the router, this would be the input of the router. So the traffic is not routed yet. So you want to capture the traffic at that point. Then these are the ports, these are the destination ports that we are looking for. And if the source address, that is the address of the user, is not the support, is not in the support list, and the destination is to the router, then the action will be to drop those packets. And then I'm going to add a comment and say block clients from router. OK. Apply. OK. So we have just created the rule. And there's a next thing that we need to do. And is to turn off the Mac server. So you know that Winbox allows you to 
access the router um, using the MAC address, we're going to turn off that because that means that anyone could actually try to access your router via that. So head over to the Telnet interface um, tab and we're going to turn off MAC. We're going to turn off the MAC ping server. But not only that, we're going to turn off all the servers. But the MAC ping server, turn, we're going to turn it off. And then the Winbox interface, we're going to this turn off the interface that will be used by Winbox. Also, we're going to disable the Telnet interface for the MAC server also. So we're going to disable that. So we won't be allowing Telnet via MAC either. Alright, so now we have now configured the router to block clients from accessing the router. So that's it for this tutorial. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please remember to do so. So that's it. And thanks for watching.